What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Love. In today's video, as you can see from the title, I will be sharing 10 most important tips with you guys before you start packing uh, for your trip to Canada as a student or an immigrant or as a tourist as well. So in this video, after watching these 10 tips, it will help you avoid some basic common mistakes that almost everyone makes and it will help you prepare your trip in a very in a very easy and a better way. I've also made a video about uh, what to pack to Canada as an international student or as a worker and what you actually should bring and what you shouldn't bring in detail. So if you haven't checked out that video, I would recommend go ahead and check out that video as well. But in this video, I will strictly keep it to the 10 tips. So without wasting any time, let's just get into the tips. So which is my first tip, hai, it is for those people who wear glasses. So my personal recommendation and tip would be to prepare and get at least a two or three pair of glasses with you from India and bring them with you to Canada because uh, getting new glasses in Canada could be really expensive. And I can tell this from my personal experience because my sister, she wears glasses and she carried two pair of glasses from India. And at the end, it was the best choice she made and it was really convenient for her in Canada. The second tip that I have for you is to not bring any sorts of hat, hats, caps or gloves from India for winters because uh, I brought my personal gloves and hats from India uh, but when I arrived in Canada it couldn't really work well in the snowy weather and when it was really hard winter and then uh, what happens is you need to buy your gloves and your hats from Walmart or from any other place in Canada and these are special snow gloves which you can wear and which will actually protect you from the hard and also winter. these are not really expensive it's only around seven or eight dollars for one pair of gloves so it's not a bad deal uh, my third tip is for anyone who is carrying electronics item from India so if you are carrying any electronics from India Please do bring a universal adapter with you. So basically the switches in Canada are different from the switches in India. And what a universal adapter does is it has like two switches, one for India and one for Canada. So when you come to Canada and if you bring the universal adapter with you, you will easily be able to plug it in uh, in any switch in Canada and you will be able to charge all your electronics. So please do spend on the universal adapter if you are bringing some electronics from India. And this would really help you in your journey to Canada. My fourth tip is for you is if you're bringing any sorts of dry fruits or some sorts of food in a closed box then my recommendation would be to remove the box and, and just bring the packets in your luggage for example if you're carrying a bag of cash in a box I would recommend uh, remove the box and only put the packet in your luggage because the box will not only add on to the weight of your luggage but it will also take a lot of space and in order to save your space you could actually save a lot if you remove these boxes. My fifth tip for you is which is also really important is to put tapes on any sorts of liquid items that you're bringing could be a uh, body wash shampoo or any other liquid or even like uh, put a, like a tape on your I'd recommend your masalas if you're bringing, bringing any sorts of masalas on like put a tape on the head of the box because there's a chance that it might leak and it might destroy your other luggage so definitely keep this point in mind I have a friend who didn't do that and his entire luggage was destroyed because of the liquid spreading on his luggage the sixth tip that I have for you is to carry your electronics in your uh, handbag when you're flying in an airplane to Canada and if you keep your electronics in your check-in baggage there is a chance that it might end up breaking and also the other tip is that to carry your liquids in the check-in bags and not in your handbags because if you put all any sorts of liquids in your handbags uh, most likely the airport authorities uh, or the officers will remove it and will not allow you to carry it with you in the airplane. So basically keep your liquids in your check-in bag and keep your electronics in your handbag. The seventh tip that I have for you is to bring your own medical medicinal oils or shampoos if you use any specific because there is a hard chance to find them in Canada and bring them in a good stock if you're coming for a long time like at least three to four medicinal shampoos or oils if you're using a particular brand. Jumeri eighth tip hai, it is for everyone guys please bring a portable charger with you a wireless charger with you if you're coming to Canada as a student as a worker or even as a tourist because I have personally experienced it and I have had a bad situation as well with this 
So you don't want your battery of your phone dying at in the middle of a in the middle of a situation or in the middle of a road when you're looking for directions to your house if you're new to Canada. Also, what I have experienced is that in really cold winter weather, temperatures like uh, minus 15 degrees or minus 20 degrees, the battery of your phone tends to go down really fast and your battery might be at 60% at uh, one point and the next minute it would be at 10%. So keep this point in mind and do bring a portable charger with you. The ninth tip that I have is for everyone who's looking to bring in medicines to Canada. If possible, guys, please do bring a written prescription for any medicine that you bring to Canada. It doesn't matter if it's a hard medicine or if it's a strong medicine or if it is like a basic medicine for a headache. It's not compulsory to bring a, bring a prescription for light medicines like a headache medicine or a stomach pain medicine, but it is definitely recommended to bring a prescription if possible and it could be a bonus uh, to your documents if you're traveling to Canada. My 10th tip and my last tip is to guys, please go to a stationery, purchase a slip which can stick to objects and for it could, you could use those slips to put on the medicines or anything and or even like masalas and you can name them in case you get confused because I've seen many students bringing medicines and then they're confused as to what medicine had what purpose. So make sure you purchase and these actually slips. let me show you one example of what I'm talking about. So basically as you can see this medicine. So if I bring this with me to Canada and if I get confused. So the good thing is that as you can see over here I attached a slip and I wrote down this is for stomach pain so these slips would actually help you out in hard times and if you get confused so like this slip or like let me show you an example of a masala so let's say if I'm carrying this box of box of haldi with me so I've written it down haldi over here well haldi you can easily recognize but just an example you get my point that you should uh, bring small slips with you and you need to you should name them in case you get confused this was my 10th tip for you guys. Okay, so that's about it for this video guys. I do hope you find my 10 tips really helpful and really useful. And if you keep all these points in mind, it will save you a lot of money, a lot of time and a lot of space on your carrying luggage. So if you find this video helpful guys, please do leave a like, please do subscribe and be a part of my journey. Do comment down if you have any questions about anything related to Canada immigration or anything at all. And I will get back to all of you. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.